Hey, I'm Father Robert from Gadget at thetechstop.net. It's the place where it's always time to get your geek on. We're here at the Labs Interop Las Vegas 2011 at the Mandalay Bay, and I'm standing next to Peter Newton from Netgear. Thank you very much for coming on. Pleasure to be here. Now you're here because Netgear has been here at Interop for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. You've been in our Access Ether network. You've been sprinkled throughout production. You've been that switch that we use whenever we just need something to work. Mm -hmm. And unlike a lot of other companies, you're very organically grown into the enterprise level. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you started looking at what people need, at what people have asked for, and you've built up your product over the years until something that's, that's actually pretty competent. Tell me, how is that strategy playing out for you? It's actually working very well right now. Our overall design philosophy when we create our products is around what we call smart IT. And that boils down to three fundamental principles. Making our products reliable because their businesses are running on it. Making them easy to use because these are typically smaller IT staffs. And making them affordable because they're also smaller IT budgets. So with that, we've been very successful in bringing products that really play well in that uh, mid-enterprise space. There are going to be those watching this who are going to say, Netgear, enterprise space, mm -hmm. no. They, those two just don't go together. They just don't see Netgear as an enterprise class player. How would you answer that? Well, it is unfortunate that we've had huge success on our home product side that really over to the, overshadows the fact that we were founded as a part of Bay Networks, a very enterprise-focused right. company. Yeah. So our roots are in enterprise, and we're now just continuing to grow upon that path and continue to build high-quality business class products with the features they need. You've got the digital DNA, you're just rediscovering your roots. Exactly. I love it. So what are you doing here at OpenFlow? First of all, for those who don't know what OpenFlow is, could you explain uh, a sort of a layman's terminology of, of what that is? Well, we see OpenFlow as an, a really exciting opportunity. You know, right now it's still in a next generation phase, but what it's going to do, the promise of OpenFlow, is that it can virtualize the network hardware. And so you can play with your network and manage it much more flexibly and maintain a lot of reliability, two of our core design tenets, reliability and flexibility, and yet do that across a large network. So we think it's an exciting time for networking. Where do you see OpenFlow being integrated into your products in the next, say, three, four, five years? Well, we currently have two switches that already support OpenFlow, so those are going into test environments now. And as OpenFlow gains momentum, we see more success, it's going to go throughout the product line, I expect. And Peter, if they want to find out more about your entire product line, about your efforts with OpenFlow, where should they go? Well, they should come to netgear.com and contact on our sales link, and we can get in touch with them and follow up. Peter, thank you very much for coming on. Thank you for coming to Interop. Thank you for being part of the OpenFlow Lab. And you stay tuned, because we've got more from Interop Las Vegas 2011. I'm Father Robert, and there's no Uber Geek without you.